I think that kind of is an end. Hi everyone, I'm Kay. Welcome to the End Documentary channel. I'm obviously not the voice of documentary films, that Jay's voice. Yes, that's right. Today, let's talk about the sense of direction of ends. Let's check it out. Researchers used to think that ants could only find their way by following the landmarks or staying in the same position. This is called egocentric spatial processing. But what does that mean? Ego means I, and centric means in the center of representation. In other words, ants could only recognize their environment from a single point of view. So think about it. If we take an ant and force it to walk upside down or sideways, it won't be able to find its way. So, at this point, if ants don't have a good sense of direction, they have to use their nose or their antenna. You know what I mean. Isn't Doug Mariadoc always follow your nose? I think that kind of is an ant. Antoine Vistrak studied Cataglyphus velox ants in the Spanish desert. He found out that these ants can turn around and remember their path. They can also handle curves and obstacles while moving in reverse. That's quite challenging because it's like driving in reverse. This ability is very practical when an ant pulls something super heavy and has to drop it to explore the surroundings and then come back to pick it up. We realize here that ants have excellent short-term memory since they can find their way back to their precious cargo. So over time, entomologist, wait a second, Entom en entomologists. So entomologists found out that ants could actually count their steps and recognize the direction of light. Personally, I think we already had a clue that an ant's brain was capable of processing orientation based on light. The ocelli are these three small points on their heads that allow winged ants to navigate in flight. They act a little bit like a compass indicating where the sun is. So their existence proves that an ant's brain is perfectly wired to use the lights as a beacon. In fact, what's great about this study is that we realize that ants are much more complex than we thought. They are not just simple mindless robots, but complex beings. Okay, that's all for today. Let me know what you think in the comments and what you observed in your colonies or in nature. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. See you next time, guys.